Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board where it controls many important squares. d4 opens up the center, attacks the e5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. Nd6 retreats the knight to a central square where it attacks the bishop on b5. Bx c6 captures the knight and forces black to double the c pawns. Dx c6 captures the bishop, opens up the d file and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Dx e5 captures the e5 pawn, attacks the knight on d6 and controls the f6 square. Nf5 moves the knight to an active square where it controls d4. Qx d8 plus trades queens and stops black from castling. Kx d8 recaptures the queen. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nc3, which advances the knight into the center. Games Master It is the final book action. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. That's good. The pawn is now adequately defended. This is the only good move. This stops the opponent from being able to check the king with two pieces at once. It is a great move. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. That falls flat. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. There was just one smart move to be made. It is incorrect. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. That falls flat. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. It is ideal. This misses a chance to relocate a rook to safety. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This overlooks a better way to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is an inaccuracy. This poses a threat to an outpost manned by a knight. It is incorrect. This enables the adversary to capture an outpost using a knight. That falls flat. This misses the chance to send a knight to capture an outpost. It falls flat. Recaptures. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. By doing this, the chance to double rook on a single file is lost. It is incorrect. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This disregards a more effective approach to advance a rook from its starting square. 
it is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. That's a decent move. That's good. This exchange is fair. That's good. This ignores a more effective technique to reclaim a piece. It is incorrect. This enables the adversary can grab an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. This passes up the chance to capture an open file with a rook. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to defend a rook that was under attack. This allows the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores a better way to take an open file with a rook. It is a miss. There was just one smart move to be made. This misses a chance to make a pun winning threat. That falls flat. Although white is still in a superior position, they have lost their winning edge. It falls flat. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is ideal. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A powerful play. It is quite good. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. It's alright. That's good. This loses material. This allows the opponent to capture the checking rook. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. It is ideal. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This enables the adversary to capture a rook and gain territory. It is a mistake. That rook earns material if it is captured. It is ideal. Backs off. It is quite good. A passed pawn can attempt to advance while being defended by a rook placed behind it. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal.